Descend the mountain? Are those Lady Coochie's orders? Yep, Miku said the ritual she's gonna perform soon might pose a physical danger to you all. I see. I'll evacuate everyone right away. W what about you? We'll be taking care of a couple other things for her. And once we're done with that, we're gonna come back and do the ritual together. It seems like Lady Guji places great trust in you. Lady Guji's never allowed anyone else to be in her presence when she's conducted rituals like this in the past. Thank you for helping with the ritual, and good luck. Don't worry, we're much stronger than we look. Nico's about to start the ritual. Come on, let's go deal with the monsters down the mountain. Monsters look really riled up. Yep, yep. Let's get rid of them as fast as we can. Then we can get back in time to see the yokai. All right, here they come. Shine down. Thunderclap. Into the wind. Sure. There is no escape! Torn to oblivion! Wind strike! Flash! Shine down! Fallen leaves, adorn my knight! There's so many of them! Come on, you can do it! Fusion shot, bellowing thunder! I can Now you shall perish! Alright, that's the last of the monsters! <sighs> Memories of the yokai. They haven't been able to relax and soar through the air like this for a long time. Come with me. <clears throat> you alright, little one? You look a little nervous. It's just... Hyman's never seen anything like this before! Really black at the moon. It does look a little intimidating, doesn't it? But I know them. They may be loud and brash at times, but they are good and brave souls. Even after losing their lives in a brutal war, they have never given in to grief or despair. Alas, their time is short.
feast, and all feasts come to an end. <laughs> Since you're sorry to see them leave, why don't you do the recital along with me? Oh Hakushin, cause of this enchantment, in reverence I perform this rite. In reverence I perform this rite. To be a guiding light. Recite the secret spells of Lady Kitsune tonight, and our wishes will come true. <gasps> oh, Hakushin, cause of this enchantment. I perform this rite to be a guiding light. Your unrivaled power will be honored eternally. Kusai, you asked if I was doing well. Really, every day is a happy day for me. But watching you all leave now, I can't help but feel a little lonely. Mm. Just a little, of course. Hmm. Just as I thought, the ritual went very smoothly. Thank you both. Oh, I'm great. But the look on your face just now... I'm fine, seriously. Really, I... No. Honestly, you two. Pico. Fine. Well, if you're dead set on doing something for me, you can treat me to a meal. Sure, no problem. A meal it is. Okay. Well, see you soon then. to a meal. The venue is Uyu Restaurant. Let's go! Naruko, please. See that he stays. Wait is unbearable. How is the next chapter of the Miraculous Adventures of the Traveler not released yet? It was quite a surprise when the Moonless Night finally came. Yeah, that huge black cloud over Mount Yogo that night. It just seemed to form out of nowhere. But then nothing happened after I made a wish using the method in that book. Yeah... I guess light novels are just fiction after all, huh? That night was definitely the nail in the coffin for the incantations from novels fad. Still, something tells me the miraculous adventures of the Traveler will remain an interesting series for a long time to come. Huh? Paimon can't see Miku anywhere. Guess she's not out here. Uh, maybe she went inside already. Let's head in and look for her. Ah, my little friends. There you are. Miko? What is this? You started eating without us? I did, yes. You're paying, after all. The thought of being able to eat the most expensive dishes and drink the finest sake, all for absolutely free? Oh, I just couldn't wait any longer. Ah, boss, see these two faces here? 
Remember them. They're the ones picking up the bill later. All righty. Uh... What's gotten into you? Come on, sit yourselves down. You have to try this fish. It's found exclusively in the waters around Seirai Island. They shipped it to Inazuma overnight, and it was still alive right up until I ordered it. Or maybe you'd rather try this? I know, I know. I normally can't bring myself to drink sake this expensive either. If you don't drink alcohol, that's fine too. There are all kinds of fruit juices covering the whole price spectrum. Nico, you are outrageous! Last time we were here working on the novel, all you ordered for us was the plainest kushikatsu! Hmm? Strange. I remember no such thing. Oh, so what? You did offer to treat me to a meal, didn't you? Anyway, I am something of a VIP, you know. Wouldn't you find it embarrassing to treat me anything short of lavishly? Miko, this meal is going to be super expensive! Aren't you afraid we won't be able to afford it? <laughs> oh, don't you worry about that. You can most definitely afford it. They're still printing your light novel by the batch, you know. You have quite the generous payment due. Uh, what? Aw, oh, darn it! She tricked us into this! Miko was after our Mora from the very beginning! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the looks on your faces right now. Too perfect. <laughs> oh, by the way, since nobody's wishes came true on the moonless night, novels with incantations are no longer in vogue. So you'll have to come up with something new for the next chapter of The Miraculous Adventures of the Traveler. The deadline is looming. I'm counting on you. <laughs> Thank you for the meal. I thoroughly enjoyed myself today. Oh, did I mention? A saw that convocation ritual we performed over the Grand Narukami Shrine. I know she can be pig-headed, but it still took me by surprise when she wrote me a long and sternly worded letter about it, chastising me for taking this whole thing much too far. Oh, I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Everyone seemed perfectly happy to me. Thank you for the meal. I thoroughly enjoyed myself today. Oh, did I mention? A saw that convocation ritual we performed over the Grand Narukami Shrine. I know she can be pig-headed, but it still took me by surprise when she wrote me a long and sternly worded letter about it, chastising me for taking this whole thing much too far. Oh, I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Everyone seemed perfectly happy to me.